On today's Fox Sports The Home Game. Fox Rules analysts Mike Pereira and Dean Blandino know everything about officiating. But today, we'll test their sports trivia knowledge. And here's your host who loves tests, especially multiple choice ones, Chris Myers. Hey, hi, and uh, how are you from our home to yours? Let's have a little fun. It's a multiple choice, a game show, a little sports trivia with a couple of uh, very official guys who are a lot of fun. Uh, I'm your host from uh, coast to coast and you at home. Be our studio audience. You can guess along as well. Let's welcome in our first contestant. You can see him on Fox Sports, Santa Clara University, graduated with a BA in finance. He's one of those rich guys, former NFL vice president of officiating, Mike Pereira. Is, uh, one of those tonight. rich guys, huh? At it's least I get the top billing over Blandino. I thought you put him first because of B before P, but Obviously, my veteran status wins out here. Age before whatever. So let's welcome in. I'll go with uh, that. I'll go with yeah. that. All right. He's from Long Island, a Long Island uh, native from Hostra University, uh, NFL vice president of officiating back from 2013 and 16, and a former stand up comedian. Uh, we welcome Dean Blandino. And Dean, I've, I've seen you and Mike try to explain the catch rule, and it's hysterical. Yes. It's hysterical, right? It's very funny. I haven't heard that one before, Chris. You're on a roll already. <laughs> I'll do the no, jokes. Hey, Chris, yes. Chris, by the way, I did actually go and see him as a stand-up comedian in, in New York. And, and was he was he funny? Yeah, when he's drunk, he's really funny. Thank you. <laughs> We're so not gonna tell that, drunk but, stories. We're not yeah, telling we drunk, tell stories. drunk stories. Yeah. What Dean, what was uh, your material? What would it consist of? Um, you know, it was a lot of I'd say it was definitely it was definitely on the on the blue side. I would say it wasn't it wasn't uh, PG uh, rated. Okay, all right. So well, we'll we'll do maybe at maybe at the uh, the summit we'll 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 have a little impromptu. At our summit, well, we we can uh, this could be a whole other show. We could do yeah, top questions. Go. Let's get to the questions in the news. These are worth one point if you answer correctly. We'll start with Mike. And in the news, Mike, uh, the MLB having its uh, first round of the draft. So what current NFL quarterback was a first round pick in both the MLB and NFL draft? A, Jameis Winston, B, Kyler Murray, C, Russell Wilson, or D, Owen Wilson? So let's see. So number picks and they were number, they were picks number one. I'm thinking, you know, since I can't remember from yesterday, I gotta, I gotta go toward the, uh, I think I'm going to go Arizona seems to me Murray seems to be the guy that was the number one pick. Uh, that is correct. All right. He started. He, he made I, thought, it. I thought he was going to go with Owen Wilson. <laughs> I'm going to quit right. right now. Can I quit? No, you're just getting started. All right, Dino, this is for you. Uh, Forbes recently came out with their annual rankings for the world's highest paid athlete. Who was number one? Remember this recently. A, Roger Federer. B, Conor McGregor. C, Tiger Woods, or D, Tiger King? Ooh. <laughs> Tiger King was my favorite. It, it is my favorite, my favorite documentary for sure. It's not Joe Exotic. I'm going to go with A, Roger Federer. That is correct. Federer, and what's interesting about he made over about six and a half million in prize money, but a hundred million dollars in endorsement yeah. uh, fees and appearance fees. That's what Pereira does. That Tito yeah. pays him more than Fox. That's why he's got that BA in finance, right? That's how I go. All right, so you're off to a good start, you guys. Here we go. Back to Mike in a 1 1 game. The PGA Tour returns to play with the uh, Charles Schwab Challenge at what Texas golf course? A, Colonial Country Club. B, Champions Golf Club, C, Del Paso, or D, Old El Paso? <laughs> so it's, uh, I think I'll leave Del Paso out of it, my home club. Yeah, there you go. It's such okay. a great event for uh, the Senior Open. So I know it's in Texas. So what is it? What was A is Colonial and B is? Uh, yeah, Colonial Country Club or Champions Golf Club. I'm going with A again, Colonial. And that is uh, correct. It is Colonial. Kevin Na, the uh, defending champion. All he does is golf, and you're asking him golf questions? Yeah, well, hey, we had to tip to a lot of fishing now, Blandino. Fishing and golf. golf. If there's a fishing and golf trivia show, Mike is, is good. All right, Dino, here's, here you go. Who's reign as WWE's 24-7 champion recently ended in his own backyard? A, Hulk Hogan, B, Chris Jericho, C, Kofi Kingston, or D, Rob Gronkowski? I'm a big WWE fan. Um, 
And, uh, and this guy had, he, he's not from a wrestling background. He did win, but he had to go back and play football. So I'm going to go with D, Rob Gronkowski. No, you guys are terrific. That is, uh, Come on, that, he's a WWE guy. That was a gimme there. All right. Well, hey, real quick, uh, if you could change one rule in the NFL if it, or add one or adjust one, what would it be, Dan? I'll go to you before we. If I could change one rule in the NFL, well, we they already got rid of the pass interference review. That would have been one I would have I would have changed. Um, I think I think they've got to implement. I think they've got to implement a, uh, a sky judge. Uh, they're going to experiment with it. I think I think it's coming. Okay. And, uh, I think we got to put it in. All right, Mike. Real quick, in 20 seconds, how about you? I would I would change the pass interference rule to the college rule. I think it's it's so hard to officiate the play. It's so punitive. It could be something 40 to 50 yard penalty. And Dean and I both have seen it called incorrectly. Um, I, I like the college rule, maximum 15. The defender's close enough to make the play. He'll try to make the play. Won't tackle, guys. That's the line. Right. Very good. So you guys are always on the clock. Back to the game. Questions from video review to a movie that you'll be able to find on VHS. This will make Pereira happy. So be kind, <laughs> rewind, rejoin us. We'll continue here on Fox Sports, the home game. Good to have you watching Fox Sports, the home game, and it's a good one. Uh, they're nailing it. Uh, it's a 2-2 game. Mike Pereira, Dean Blandino, the most official, former officials, official TV people you'll ever see. So category in round two is check the video, and these are worth two points, every correct answer. So to snap the tie, Dean, we'll start with you. And if, if video replay existed in game one of the 1996 ALCS, whose home run caught by spectator Jeffrey Mayer? Oh. Mike would not have counted. <laughs> A. Paul O'Neill, B. Derek Jeter, C. Bernie Williams, or D. Serena Williams. Okay, so I, I grew up in New York around a lot of obnoxious Yankee fans, and I'm not a Yankee fan, and so I remember that run might have been the worst time in my life when they were winning great teams. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday, one of the worst calls in the history of the game that was clearly fan interference. Derek Jeter. That is uh, that is correct. See, explained uh, very. Uh, see, they needed you guys on the replay at the time. Jeter, of course, the Yankees won and then won, went on to win the World Series. All right, so it's a it's a, a two run two point lead for Dean. So, Mike, here you go. What horse crossed the finish line first at the 2019 Kentucky Derby, but was later disqualified for interference after a 22 minute review? A Country House, B California Chrome. C, maximum security, or D, Mr. Ed. That was just for your era, going back to the black yeah. and TV shows. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Can I have a repeat of A, B, and C? You can sure. throw out. Yeah. All right. Uh, country House, California Chrome, and maximum security. <laughs> He's stalling. The only horse he knows is Mr. Ed. <laughs> I, I know California Chrome, but I'm not the... Uh... Yes. He actually made a guest appearance on Mr. Ed one time. <laughs> you need this for the time. Yes, was yeah, Dean was the whole. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, it wasn't California Chrome. You're going with B, a California. That is incorrect. Oh. In maximum security. Uh, so the close. And the you would Whitman's think you would know that. And you would think you would know house. that, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that, Dean? You did, you know. No? Okay. Oh, well, sure. It's a 4-2 lead. Back to Dean. The first live televised sporting event in the U.S. was a college baseball game in 1939. Oh. At what school? A. Rutgers. B. Maryland. C. Columbia. D. Hogwarts. <laughs> this is, you're talking about 1939. How are you not asking Mike this? <laughs> um, I'm going to eliminate Hogwarts. Okay. Okay, because that would have been Quidditch. Um, hey, there you go. I'm just guessing here. I don't know. I'm going to go Columbia. And that is correct. A correct oh, lead. lead. Wow. Adds another two. Better it's be lucky than lead. good. All right. Uh, Mike, here you go. Located in the league offices in Toronto, what does the NHL refer to its centralized video replay room as? What do they call it? A, the situation room. B, the challenge room. C, the Zoom room. Or D, the panic room. <laughs> I want to repeat again, A, B, and C. Okay, okay. We'll leave out panic room. That's this show. Uh, the situation room, 
the challenge room or the Zoom room. Uh, you need this to keep it close. All right, I'm going to go situation room. And that is uh, correct. Very good. All right, he, he's back in it. I, I thought I thought Wolf Blitzer. He must wear like a goalie mask or something. If he did, helps you not out. put in your hearing aid, Mike. Is that the problem? What I to... just am buying some time. Okay. Look All right, it. that's fine. This is a guy that got famous for carrying Jerry Seaman's suitcases through the airport when he was young. Come wow, on. inside. When he called, when he called me, I heard info. him. And buying all his newspapers for him. These are inside referee jokes. I never thought that yes. would make There's a real market for that, let me tell you. <laughs> That's why you guys are doing television. All yeah. right, so, so Dean, you still have the lead at 6-4, at and here we go. Uh, despite sounding like a sports movie, the 1994 movie The Ref, stars what actor as a cat burglar who has to act as an informal marriage referee? Is it A, Adam Sandler, B, Dennis Leary, C, Ed Harris, or D, Ed Hockley? <laughs> Speaking Hockley, of Hockley did audition <laughs> and, and for that role, and, and he didn't get it, but he, did, he was the stunt double for, I believe it was B, Dennis Leary. And that is correct. Boy, he knows his movies, a marriage referee, could all use that, hi, huh, Mike? Don't say anything. Okay, so there you go. You expand your lead. Let's go back to Pereira. Uh, and and by the way, Dean Blandino's a big Hallmark movie guy too. Which which yes. we have. I want. I was going to ask some questions there, but we didn't have time. Mike, this for you. What famous TV sportscaster made his living showing highlights by saying, "Let's go to the videotape." Is it A. Warner Wolf, B. Marv Albert, C. Dan Patrick, or D. Your humble host, Chris Myers. I'd love to say that it's Chris Myers. I don't think it was, although maybe he copied the lines. I don't know, but I'm going, Warner Wolf, let's That's go. That's correct. I wasn't around that, but Warner Wolf, a classic, a longtime sports anchor in New York and Washington, D.C. Yeah, let's go to the videotape. Uh, funny stuff. All right, so that was a good rally, but Dean still has the eight to six advantage in the battle of the former refs or officiating guys. So these guys are the best at what they do. Uh, Mike and Dean, up next, we're going to ask about some of the the best players in sports history and also some other random stuff that our researchers dug up. We're playing along at home on Fox Sports, the home game. More in a moment. Well, it's real competition on Fox Sports, the home game between two buddies and uh, former officials. And the odds, odds makers in Vegas had Blandino as the heavy, heavy favorite. But Pereira, you're hanging in there, which, which I, bet, I bet on Blandino. I did. I <laughs> I so shouldn't, shouldn't say that, but go ahead. That's all he's right. Doing, that's right. We can't. Can we? Can we say? But Mike, he, he's been doing some of these age jokes. There, how big a gap between you guys, age-wise? What? Maybe five, ten years? It's not that big, is it? Yeah. Huh? Is it? Okay. You're talking <laughs> generations here. <laughs> okay. Listen, I, I used to. I used to parade around the clubs of Dallas, claiming he was my I'm, son. So. I'm, I'm. I'm five years younger than his stepdaughter. But oh, <laughs> okay. Well, there that gives us a good frame of reference. Here we go, round three with Blandino leading. And the category, you're the best, worth three points for each correct answer. So, Mike, you can actually take the lead if you get this one. Uh, who's the only who's the only place kicker to have been named the AP NFL Most Valuable Player? The only kicker, A, Mark Mosley, B, Gero Yepremia, C, Mason Crosby, or D, Mason Dixon? <laughs> Uh, holy mackerel, the most, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with C. Uh, oh. C is incorrect. Why? Yeah, oh. you do that. It was, it was Mosley. Mason Dixon was? No, it was, no, it was Mark Mosley at 82. That strike shortened season. Straight on kicker, for God's sakes, was. Oh, oh, what? oh, that's a big miss. Okay, here we go, Dino, for you. Who was the last pitcher? Who was the last major league pitcher to be named most valuable player? A, Justin Verlander. B, Clayton Kershaw. C, Bartolo Colon, or D, Bartolo Simpson? <laughs> Bartolo, <laughs> that's Bartolo the, that's Simpson. That's the Hispanic version of the Simpsons. Man. I, didn't, I didn't know he existed. Uh, <laughs> I, I am going to go with B, Clayton Kershaw. Well, that is correct. Blandino opens up a sizable lead. That might, be, that might be a dagger right there, Mike. But get ahead. But you're never out of it. Remember that, Mike. Here you go. A chance to pick up three. Uh, or who can to leave? I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Who was the last player to win an NBA MVP and an NBA championship in the same year? Now, even you should know this. Is it A, LeBron James, B, Steph Curry, C, Charles Barkley, or D, Gnarls Barkley? <laughs> Gnarls Barkley? <laughs> It's a, it's a band, I think, right? It's a, it's a, yeah. I'm going yeah, LeBron right. James. What is it? Yeah, which, you're going with A or B? I'm sorry. What LeBron is it? LeBron James. Oh, that's incorrect. Okay. Oh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry? You're, 
Your Warriors, yes. A 2014-15 season almost happened again the following season. LeBron James and the Cavs came back to win that championship, though. All right, so, Dean, you can add to your lead. Hit of the MVP. Wow. It, uh, it Charles Barkley was one of the best NBA players that never won a championship, never won an NBA title. Of these four great players, which one did win an NBA championship? A, Reggie Miller. B, Patrick Ewing, C, Akeem Olajuwon, or D, Juana Mann? <laughs> Juana Mann. That I was a big hit movie. Kenny Albert and I are in that movie. It was a smash hit, but nobody saw it. No one saw it. It, it was. I, I have watched it. I actually have it on DVD. Okay, um, thanks. I'm a, I'm a big Knicks fan, and so I know Patrick has it 1-1, and, and I – I know Reggie hasn't won one, but I know who beat Patrick and uh, and won a title, Akeem Olajuwon. And that is correct. Wow. Okay. A big three-pointer. Yes, back-to-back back titles. Can we quit? With the rock? No, no, you're, Mike, you'll still have a chance to rally. You're never you out of You have a chance to rally at the end. Yeah. It's a, you'll, you could, but you have, to, you have to hang in there to put pressure on, on your buddy Dean. Yes, Olajuwon with the Rockets. Back-to-back back titles in 94, 95. Some great players that never won. All right, so here you go, Mike. Here's a chance for three. It's only a, a 14 to six game. You need you need a touchdown. You need a a two touchdown point and a two-point try. <laughs> okay, he's back. Got an onside kick and go for it. Fourth and 15, too. All right, here you go. Exclu- excluding documentaries, what is the highest-ranked sports movie on the website Rotten Tomatoes? A. Rocky. B. Hoosiers. C. Bad News Bears. Or D. Amadeus. I'm gonna go Rocky. Hey, all right, he swung nice. the fences. Those are all good movies. Okay, here we go, Dean, for you to get three back. A 2007 documentary with the subtitle A Fistful of Quarters follows Steve Weeby, his chase for the high score in what classic arcade game? A, Centipede, B, Pac-Man, C, Donkey Kong, or D, Tetherball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, uh, this... Uh, I'm not a video game. Um, I'm gonna go B, Pac-Man. You're going Pac-Man. That's incorrect. All right. So things say it was Donkey Kong. Donkey uh, Kong. Yeah, and Weeby later recognized as the first player to score over a million points in the game. Donkey Kong. You needed quarters uh, to to play that one. All right. So it's a break for Pereira. Things are tightened up just a bit. Blandino with a 14 to nine lead. Uh, Mike, any thoughts? We're going to go to break, and then we have a, a question where you can choose. It's either about you or your opponent, and that will be enough to give you the lead. And then Blandino, should you get it right, can rally. So you ready Are you, 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 to contemplate? You good, Mike? I'm ready. I'm very optimistic. <laughs> you sound like it. All right, we'll see what he chooses and if Blandino has to rally or can hold the lead on this battle of former officiating officials on Fox Sports The Home Game. Don't go away. You just never know how it's going to turn out on Fox Sports, the home game. And Mike Pereira, Dean Blandino going head to head. Blandino with a sizable lead. But here in the final round, a chance for Pereira to actually take the lead. But he's got a big choice. This is going to be worth six points. And you would jump ahead of Dean if you answer correctly. You choose a question about Dean Blandino that's multiple choice, Mike. Or a question about yourself that is a little bit more difficult without multiple choice. So which way would you like to go for the lead? Well, yeah. I've found so many points. I think I only have one choice. I think I got to go with Blandino. I got to try to answer something about Blandino because he knows everything about himself. So what the heck? I'll take a <laughs> shot. All right. So here we go for the lead. Mike Pereira, what position did Dean Blandino play on his high school football team? First of all, it's an upset he even played. You know, you see him. But anyway, that's another story. I kid, Dean. You know Jeez, that. What? Wow. I know. That was just to, to keep the audience. Uh, I thought it would be something about his officiating experience that he had on the field. All right. What position? Here we go. Did he play on his high school team? Was it A, quarterback, B, safety, C, tight end, or D, rules analyst? Well, rules in us, he didn't know the rules back in those times at all. He was not quick enough. In my opinion, he wasn't quick enough. Not his feet aren't quick enough to be a quarterback. And then if I'm thinking safety, I don't think he was tough enough to come up and make the big hit. So I'm going to go tight end. Oh, that is correct. How do you like the way he broke that down, Dean? That was a little scouting. Because a tight end doesn't have to be tough or, or have quick feet at all, right? Well, you stayed in and blocked. That's all you did. You never went oh, out that okay. fast. 
Well, what a rally. This could be a major what, upset. What a rally that but, was. But a like meaningless was, question. You that answered was like a very the arbitrary strategy. amount of points that, that you were right, What's your, by the way, real That's quick. That's a great rule. They, indeed, you can still win here. Uh, you get, what's your high school real quick? We got to, we got to. WC Mepham High School in Belmore, New York. All right, a little shout out. All right, so Dean, uh, this is for the win now. Do you want to choose about Pereira, multiple choice, or about yourself with a straight answer and uh, no options? I'm, I'm intrigued as to how you're going to ask the question about myself, but I'm just I'm not sure. Whew. Do I go with the... Do I go with the multiple choice? While we're young, you know, I'd like to get out this well, afternoon. Well, all, of us, <laughs> all of us are still going to be young other than you, Mike. So um, I'll go Pereira multiple choice. Oh, okay. For the, for the slam dunk of the big finish here, uh, Blandino, for the win, here's the question about your, your counterpart here. Mike Pereira started as a college football official in what conference? A, the Pac-10, B, the Mountain West, C, the Big West, or D, Adam West? <laughs> <laughs> you know this one. You know, it's 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 not Adam West and it's not the Pac-10. So so I'm trying you but you huh. I'm gonna go with For the win. For the win, I'm gonna go see Big West. And that is correct. All right, he pulls out the victory. Mike, you, you made him sweat at the end. I'm just happy. I was happy to be close. I mean, I, let's put it this way. I covered the spread. So, I'm <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate both of you being a good sport. You're uh, you're great guys to work with. Keep up the good work. We look forward to uh, more NFL soon. And uh, Blandino, the winner over Pereira in the battle of former officials. And that's official. And thank you for watching. We hope you tune in next time right here on Fox Sports, the home game.